After a record-shattering season, the Bonnies hit a brick wall last Sunday in the Sweet 16, falling to top-seeded Notre Dame 79-35 in Raleigh. The 44-point blowout was the largest in NCAA regional history. The Irish scored early and often and dominated the Bonnies defensively. Fifth-year senior guard Brittany Mallory blanketed Bonnies leading scorer Jessica Jenkins all day, holding her scoreless on six field goal attempts. It was a frustrating day for Jenkins, who was shut out of the score sheet for the first time in more than two years. That was probably, I think, definitely the best team that we've played in my four years. They have that kind of their chip on their shoulder from, you know, being the runner-up last year and they want to get back and win a national championship. So I think, um, you know, you could definitely see that intensity and it was just a totally different level. Notre Dame cruised past second seeded Maryland by 31 Tuesday night to earn its second straight Final Four appearance. The Bonnies realized they lost to one of the premier teams in the country. We knew that we haven't seen a team like that ever. Their greatest gift is that they're incredibly competitive and, and just have a drive to to be the best and to um, win a championship like we've never seen. As it's devastating, it's kind of a sweet ending because if they do a win, then we can say we got beat by the national champions. The Bonnies were disappointed to see their 31 and four season end, but they quickly moved on and put it into perspective. Uh, 40 minutes doesn't define our season, but what we've accomplished this year uh, is terrific. Uh, it's something special, uh, the support and and enthusiasm that it brought is, is something that no one can ever take away. The thought that crosses my mind it'll be the two wins in the NCAA tournament and winning an A-10 championship and you know getting to the A-10 finals so we just had so many good stuff, good things happen this year that it's you know going to be hard to even think about the bad things. The Bonnies had high expectations entering the season and now that it's over they believe they've maximized their potential. The, the kids got to where they set forth to go to have the success they did and to play the way they did night after night after night is really extremely difficult and that they were able to do it uh, speaks volumes to the to the leadership within the team and the the great commitment and ability that these kids have. We think it's sweet because I mean we've made history how many times this year and just making it to the Sweet 16 we've all grown up well, thinking I want to be that person on TV playing in March Madness and we actually had the, a chance and the opportunity to play in one. The Bonnies believe this year's team will forever be remembered as the one that brought the program to national prominence. I want people to remember, you know, our legacy to be a, an extremely competitive group, a very humbling group as well. We didn't have a national reputation. We'd become a pretty good regional story and maybe people within women's basketball knew a, a little bit about uh, the success we were continually having, but um, the fact that we did it on a national stage and uh, the fact that, that people all of a sudden knew the names of our players, that's something that can't be replaced. For SBU TV, I'm Tyler Duda. Together, one, two, three. Together. Jim Crowley, who was